basically, Hey Rick, I, I've been trying to learn programming, and I keep hearing about these things called arrays. What exactly are they and how do they work with memory and stuff? Oh jeez, Morty. Arrays are like the simplest concept in programming. They're basically just containers, Morty. Like those interdimensional boxes we use to smuggle Calaxian crystals, except way less illegal and way more boring. Basically, but how do they actually work, Rick? Like, where do they exist in the computer? Listen up, Ben Morty, because I'm only explaining this once. When you create an array, you're basically asking the computer to reserve a continuous block of memory addresses. It's like claiming territory in a dimension, except instead of planting a flag, you're just telling the RAM, this is mine now, don't touch it. Basically, continuous memory, what does that even mean? It means the elements are stored right next to each other, Morty. Like parking spots at a blips and chits. If you have an array of integers, and each integer takes four bytes, then element zero is at the starting address, element one is exactly four bytes later, element two is eight bytes from the start, and so on. The computer can jump directly to any position because it's just simple math, Morty! It's what makes arrays so damn fast. Basically, so wait, if arrays have to be continuous, what happens if I need to add more elements than I originally planned for? That's when you're screwed, Morty. In most languages, arrays have a fixed size. Try to add more elements and it's like trying to stuff more isotopes into a fusion chamber. It'll blow up in your face. That's why we have dynamic arrays like ArrayList or Vector that automatically resize. But underneath, they're just creating new, bigger arrays and copying everything over. It's inefficient, Morty, like the Galactic Federation's bureaucracy. Basically, geez, Rick, arrays sound complicated. The bottom line, Morty, is that arrays give you fast access to elements because the computer knows exactly where each item is stored in memory. It's simple arithmetic. Address of any element equals starting address plus uh, index time size of each element. No searching required! That's why arrays are the foundation of practically every data structure in the multiverse. Basically, whoa, that actually makes sense! Hey everyone, if you liked learning about arrays with us, don't forget to like and subscribe for more adventures in programming with Rick and Morty! Oh jeez!